All right, all right, all right. Bungie has just dropped their big new update. We got 7361, and we're going to be getting Cascade Point fixed and a variety of other things. Let's go ahead and jump into this and see everything we got going on. Activities, Crucible, General. We got Quitter penalties are now applied to the account and not the character. So be mindful of this. This is something that it was a workaround that we would use quite a bit where you would get the Quitter penalty for quitting. Let's say you're quitting some matches and stuff you're rage quitting or you're just not having it that day well after you got the quitter penalty when lord shack says you are going to be penalized you would just swap to another character so say you got the quitter penalty on your hunter you could swap to your titan or your warlock and then you could wait out the timer you could play in that same playlist on your titan or your warlock but now it's going to be account specific not character specific so this is a good thing and a bad thing in some ways obviously you know, sometimes you get error coded from the activity because your internet or because the Bungie servers. And so you're going to get that quitter penalty from now, uh, at, from time to time. And it's going to be account specific now. So you're going to be locked out. I believe for 30 minutes is the penalty. Could be longer than that. If it is, please comment below. But I believe it's 30 minutes is what you get locked out for. Next up, so be mindful of that. Next up, we got Iron Banner. They're going to increase the drop rates for the Tusk of the Boar. That's that Strand Waveframe GL that is so very good. You're going to want that God Roll. This thing is very nice in PvE. And then we got the multi mock CCX. They're going to increase those for players that have not acquired them yet. So what was happening is people who have not unlocked these things were playing a ton of Iron Banner, turning in a ton of Engrams, and getting a ton of drops, but they weren't getting the Tusk of the Boar or the multi so they had to play more and more and more and more and more, and it was just complete RNG if it would ever drop for them, and they were just having extremely bad luck, and so now they have essentially a sort of bad luck protection, where players that haven't acquired them yet are going to receive them more. So if you haven't unlocked those weapons yet from last time, Iron Banner, well, in the future, Iron Banner, you will be able to. And I believe the last week of April will be Iron Banner. So mark the calendars for that and get ready to grind and get that Tusk of the Boar. And obviously you can focus farm Tusk of the Boar or multi mock after you get it unlocked. Next, we got Destiny 2 Into the Light. Onslaught, we got fix an issue where players who miss the portal back to the main combat area remain stuck for the duration of the purchase phase that's funny that's a good fix let's find that that didn't actually happen to me in any of my runs but that's funny that that was happening then we have fixed an issue where onslaught was showing the trials of osiris symbol when selecting the activity got it so they had to fix that it's a little ui bug there we got exotic missions the whisper okay we got fixed an issue where only the player breaking an oracle would get the rewards all right, and then the second part, which is the glitch that we covered on the channel here, which is fix an issue where the player breaking an Oracle could get more rewards than intended. And that's how we were able to get up to Intrinsic 4. Now that they fixed that issue, I don't know if they're going to revert those back to the earlier Intrinsics. I don't think they can do that, but so if you got to take advantage of that while it lasted, excellent. If not, no worries. It really didn't matter that much, so... Now you'll just be locked into the time gating of that and you'll be able to fully unlock your whisper by next tuesday reset gameplay investment we got weapons fixed issue where players could get unlimited uptime for the cascade point perk they finally fixed that one so now cascade point's gonna be back in the game how this one worked was i made a video talking about it but you could have cascade point in one column and then another perk in the other column you could proc it and then you'd swap back and forth and for whatever crazy reason it would give you an infinite cascade point timer so this was Absolutely busted for PvP, absolutely busted for PvE. You could melt, you could get a grenade launcher, you could heavy GL with Cascade Point, like crazy like that. Obviously the scout rifles, everything that had Cascade Point was busted for a, a short period of time there. And so they had to disable it and now they're fixed it and it's re-enabled, so it's back in the game now. Then we got Fire Team Finder. Fixed an issue where creating a Fire Team Finder listing for the Vanguard Ops playlist wouldn't launch a random activity from said playlist. So they fixed the fire team finder for specifically for vanguard ops there you go so that's fixed i never had an issue with that but he did now it's fixed we got general fixed issue where interacting with shax's holograms in hall of champions would play the wrong character animation there you go a fix for that for the ui and there it is that's everything that's update 7361 make sure to subscribe to the channel stay up to date on all the news in destiny 2 i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching